Hi guys, Jim Zaslowski, otherwise known as Dr. Z, and I'm here to talk neck and back. Wanted to talk to you a little bit about today about postural syndrome. Postural syndrome is a very common problem that a lot of people get. And before we talk about postural syndrome, I want to do a two second anatomy review. This is your spine. This is the cervical spine at the top, right below the head. There's seven vertebrae in that region. There is 12 vertebrae in the thoracic region, and then five vertebrae in the lumbar region. The important thing about postural syndrome is in order to have good posture and pain-free posture relies on good curvature of the spine. You have a normal, what we call lordosis or a curvature like this in the cervical spine, a reversal of that curvature in the thoracic spine, which is normal, and then normal lumbar lordosis in the lower lumbar region or the low back region. The problem occurs when we lose those normal curvatures. And how do we lose those normal curvatures? We lose those curvatures by doing activities such as being on our tablet or looking at our phones or sitting at a laptop or being an auto mechanic, leaning into a vehicle to do some repairs or even being a doctor or a nurse where you're doing most of your activities in front of you. Doing everything in this forward bend position tends to create a loss of the normal curvature in the cervical spine and puts a lot of strain on the muscles in the back between your shoulder blades. It also causes the muscles in the front of your body to tighten up. Those muscles being your pectoralis muscles or your chest muscles, once they tighten up, tend to strain the muscles in the back and you develop a pain between your shoulder blades. So Dr. Ginsberg's here with us to show us exactly where that pain would be. It'd be right here between the shoulder blades. We have a left and a right shoulder blade and basically the area right in between close to the spine can become very painful because those muscles are smaller than the pec muscles and they're constantly stretched. So what do we do for treatment? Um, obviously, quitting our jobs or doing the things we do every day, like looking at our phones and our tablets is impossible. Just saying I'm gonna change my posture also doesn't work because it becomes a structural problem, kind of like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. You can't tell the Leaning Tower of Pisa to straighten up. You have to recreate the normal structure of the tower. So what we do is we get to a good physical therapist who could teach us exercises that stretch out the tight muscles and strengthen the weak muscles and recreate a normal posture. And re improving that alignment can now improve your pain and also improve the posture at which you sit and do the things you like to do or the activities that you do on a regular basis, whether you're a mechanic, a nurse, or a teacher. Thanks so much. Also remember that that pain between your shoulder blades could also be something more serious and more detrimental. If it doesn't improve with just some physical therapy and starting some exercises and stretches, definitely contact us for appointments.